uh, welcome to another session on docker uh, in the previous video we have seen some of the commands of cli and docker desktop how to interact uh, with the docker desktop and docker daemon in this video we will continue with the cli to interact with few more commands and get the job done from the docker daemon let's begin so we have launched docker desktop uh, application on our computer and these are some of the ui based options using which we can interact with the docker daemon and get the job done for example i can run i can start the container i can set some of the options against the container or i can remove the container in the earlier videos we have already seen how to uh, start and set the parameters of a container so let's talk about how to remove the containers and images from the docker desktop using cli so if i want to use this desktop application i can simply click on this delete, delete option and if i make the option uh, select the choice of delete forever the it uh, container will be deleted if we go to the command prompt let's launch cmd and if we plan to use command prompt to uh, do the same job we have to use command line interface commands provided by docker using which we can get the same job done let's execute commands first of all i will list all the images which are available so docker images will list all the images which are available on my computer along with their ids and tags and the size now if i want to list all the containers i'll execute docker ps hyphen a note that if you are willing to delete a image of a docker uh, image downloaded from the docker app you must delete all the containers which are associated with the image for here uh, for example here you will find that uh, we have uh, one postgres Im container which is associated with the image of a postgres so if i am willing to uh, delete the uh, postgres image from my pc from my desktop docker desktop i first of all have to delete the container which is associated with the docker image for that what i'll do is i'll type docker rm and i'll use the container id which is associated with the container this is a unique id so you can use a uh, unique bits unique digits in the docker id container id so uh, right now the four, there are two containers in our uh, system first container id is 8b 9f and so on and the second container id is 82b 2 and so on so i know that the first two or first uh, one uh, first digit is very common between both the containers second digit onwards the both container ids are different for the bigger understanding what i've done is i've selected first three characters from the container id for removal of the container now if i execute this command doctor uh, docker rm and a to b from the container id and hit enter i'll get the same characters as in a response it means that the respective container is removed from the system now if i execute docker ps hyphen a we have only one container which is against the postgres let's try to remove the container which is remaining what i can do now is i'll simply type docker rm and 8 as there is only one container and it is starting with digit 8 system will have no problem in identifying which container i am talking about and which container i am willing to delete let's hit enter now if i type docker ps hyphen a it tells me that there is no container available on my computer let's list images i have three images with me one is of python one is of httpd and one is of postgres now we have deleted all the containers which we have created against the postgres now let's try to delete this image which is of postgres so for that i'll use docker which is the cli command rm 
followed by i which indicates that now i am not planning to delete the container i am planning to delete the image followed by the name of the image so you get a response and it has deleted everything which is associated with this image let's clear the screen and list images again here you find that the postgres is no longer listed in our options this is how you will be able to uh, interact with the docker daemon to remove the images and remove the containers from your system now we do not have any container running so docker ps no container is running as well as there is no halted or stopped container on the system we do have two images and now using either using the desktop utility or using the command prompt utility we will be able to launch a container against it let's try let's say docker run httpd so this is the container hyphen e i'll use hyphen e to assign a port i'll say 3000 colon 80 what we are doing is we are telling that uh, assign port 3000 and direct it to the port number 80 of inside the container and for the external uh, world for the os for the local host the port to interact with the docker service will be 3000 let's hit enter let's fire the command again docker run hyphen p will be the option to select the port number of the local system which we will attach it with the containers port number 80 to launch the service and httpd is the image against which we want to launch the container so uh, this command has successfully launched a container and it is attached to the port number 3000 of our local system. Let's try to access the container using local host colon 3000. It works. So this is how using the command prompt you can launch the container against the image i have launched this container in the attached mode you can also launch it using a detached mode by applying a hyphen d tag now let's uh, go to the containers here you will find that this container is running and its port number is 3000 that we have given uh, while running the container if i select this container I'll have this variety of options. One of the option is this exec. This exec option will allow me to interact with the containers internal. For example, here if I type ls command, it will list all the directories which are present inside the container. Let's zoom a bit. Now, if I want to go inside std docs what i'll do is i'll type std docs here is the ind file index.html let's look at the contents of index.html file it works for a verification purpose what we will do is we will update the message in this file using a nano editor let's install nano editor as it is not available on the system i'll quickly update the repo list on inside the container 
and then we will try to install editor nano now this editor is installed inside the container using which we will be able to edit the file index.html here we will type the name of our institute let's write the content and let's refresh the url and let's see whether the effects are taking place or not so here whatever modifications we are doing inside the container are reflected in the browser this is how you can use the cli to interact with the container and update the files inside the container as well as uh, you will be able to put your own HTML files inside the container and uh, the HTTPD service will provide the access to these services, uh, these pages using web. I hope you got this contents. In the next video, we will see few more facilities using uh, CLI as well as uh, GUI of Docker desktop. Thank you.